First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. Shit that works. Peace, peace. Back once again with Dr. Alain Bay. All right, we're getting ready to pull up my co-host. Getting ready to go to Brother L, Grand Sheik. Are you here with me, brother? Yes, sir. Brother, peace and love, God. How you doing? Peace and love. How you doing tonight? Oh, well, I'm doing well. How, how yourself? All right, I'm doing well. We're going to be going into the night. Something that's real important and which everybody should be wanting to know how to do. And that's balancing the chakras and the healing powers of sound. Um, so we're going to get into that information. Um, but before we do, um, we want to say, um, check out the website, www.drlamelbay.com. That's D-R-A-L-I-M-E-L-B-E-Y.com. That's www.drlamelbay.com. Check us out there, as well as also, um, you can check us out at www.cultural-freedom.com. That's C-U-L-T-U-R-A-L dash, as in a hyphen, Freedom, F R E E D O M dot com. That's www.cultural freedom dot com. Check us out. All right. Now, what we want to do is go into the power of sounds. And there's a recent article in which that came out, in which that speaks about the fact that DNA can be malumated, in other words, changed by sound or by words, um, in other words, mental thoughts. Um, so, what we're going to do is go over some exercises tonight, but before I go into the exercises, we want to go into that particular article in which that reads something like this. Um, I have um, excerpts of it, which I want to go into, and let's see if we can get to it. All right. Um, it's a known fact that um, based on scientific um, documentation that Dr. Candice Perks rediscovered that the role of um, neuropeptides, which are protein-like molecules by neurons to be communicated with each other. In other words, there's a chemical messenger called neurotransmitters that carries information from the brain to the cells, which is, i.e., the body. All your thoughts and feelings 
get translated into a chemical that fires off throughout your body, altering the chemical composition and behavior of your cells. All right? Now, this is a good book in which that I recommend getting for those who don't um, understand this to the fullest. Want more information? According to Deepak Chopra in his ageless, ageless body, timeless mind, um, even he writes that without the feeling, there is no hormones. Without the hormones, there is no feeling. Whatever thought goes, a chemical goes with it. Your biology is your biography. By paying close attention to both the history of the symptoms as well as its effects, you can begin to discover deeper and more subtle causes, ones which invariably, invariably holds the key to healing. The human genome contains about 50 genes that encode precursors of neuropeptides. At present, about 100 different peptides are known to be released by different populations of neurons in the human brain. All right, so um, he basically concurs that information, you know, and as well as also goes further in which that deals with the fact that the body hears and responds to your thoughts and words. Therefore, positive reinforcement by way of prayer, affirmations, or and or decrees, um, known as mantras within the Sanskrit, um, hesis or hakus within the um, comedic teachings, um, as well as also uh, dhikr within the Sufi or Islamic traditions. All of this symbolizes how to embed positive thoughts within the mind. All right, um, the all is mind and everything is mental. If you ever study the um, Kabbalion by the three initiates, the first principle is mentalism which is one of the seven principles of Tahuti, universal principles, I might add. Um, so um, the mind has to be mastered. There's no doubt about it. All right? Yes, sir. Um, matter of fact, there's a Russian biophysicist um, by the name of um, Jyoti um, Gurjava, and his research team group have been investigating the scientific basis for phenomenons known as clairvoyant, spontaneous acts of healing, the success of affirmations, auras, and the potential of groups or people to influence weather patterns through their intentions. Now, this research has revealed that DNA can be reprogrammed by words and frequencies, opening up a whole new arena in medicine. The Russian scientist joins linguistics or linguistics to explore this so-called extraordinary or extraordinous um, DNA and found that the genetic code follows the same rules as all our human languages. So the DNA is human language. It follows the same rules. It says indicating that the human language are actually a reflection of our DNA. Hmm. Okay? Once again, indicating that the human languages are actually a reflection of our DNA. Hmm. All right? So, um, so instead of, you know, your voice commands your mind, body, and spirit then. You know, so you wouldn't want to say words like, I can't, I won't, it's hard. I don't believe. I'm skeptical. I don't like it. You know, you want to say words like I can, I am, I believe, it's done. Can I, um, I can do it. I can do anything. You know, in other words, you want to get the opposite in order to help strengthen those particular um, effects within the DNA. So through exploring the vibratory behavior of DNA, Russian scientists was able to use certain frequency patterns to alter the genetic information itself. Even more astonishing, the experiment proved that the um, that one can use words and sentences to influence DNA. This explains scientific uh, scientifically how the body can be programmed by language, words, and thoughts. Finally, leading leading credit um um credited um to the use of affirmations and hypnotism hypnotism. The scientists also proved the use 
changes of frequencies can repair chromosome damages by rays and actually reprogram DNA by applying vibrations to the DNA information patterns. They successfully transform frog embryos to salamander embryos. Scientists have stated that 90% of the DNA has classified as junk DNA, and only 10% of our DNA is being used for building protein. It wow. is this subset of DNA that is of interest to Western researchers and is being examined and categorized. The other 90% are considered junk DNA. However, prior to new research that was published in late 2012, in other words, just this past year, um, junk DNA was believed to have no biological function, similar to what they thought about the pineal gland, um, melanin, all of this, they didn't know. So they were saying that this was nothing more than, um, melanin was nothing more than information from you know, our earlier evolutions and all of this type of thing, you know, without actually going in and saying what purpose does it serve today in this day and time. It's just it's something up the past. However, as it turned out, what Western scientists mistook as junk DNA does indeed have a biological function. They found that roughly 80% of the human genome, um, at least one biochemical activity associated with it. So it has at least one biochemical activity associated with it. Keep in mind that the junk DNA could have an enormous amount of biology or biological and non-biological functions that we have not yet discovered. This is what the article says. So the ancients have already explored that information, and they have set up ways in order to deal with um, the effects of healing uh, by using words. Um, we know that the vowels in the ancient languages such as Arabic, Hebrew, um, ancient um, Aramaic, Amharic, uh, Kemetic, or what is called, known as Metroneter, the vowels were not used. But we know in school some of the first things in which that we are taught are the vowels. You know, in kindergarten and first grade, we are taught the vowels. We're taught A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. All right? We are taught these vowels. However, we were not taught that these particular sounds can actually heal your endocrine gland, which is, i.e., your chakra. Right? We were not taught that. So that's what we're going to explore tonight, is how to balance the chakras, with the sounds of healing and power, all right, or the healing power sound, as we um, stated. Um, We're going to demonstrate that. And each sound that we do will be done seven times in order to cause a vibratory um, effect. We know that based on the book of Revelation, based on, which is the Bible, based on several other books such as the Apocrypha, such as the Holy Quran, there's seven heavens. These seven heavens or seven seals or seven um, churches, which is i.e. chakras, all correlate to that. Um, most have seven, at least seven chakras activated. Some have moved into nine. Some will be moving into 12 and 13. Um, we're going to do seven particular sounds and we might and I'm going to add in the other sounds also so make sure that y'all take notes. All right? And we're going to do them each seven times. Okay. So the crown chakra, which is activated by the pineal gland, which is the top of the head, the sound for it is the I sound. The letter I. All right? And this particular note, when it's pronounced, actually resonates a vibratory frequency at the pineal gland. It also decalcifies the pineal gland. All right? For those who might feel lightheaded or who might feel um, 
might have like a slight headache afterwards. That is because it is decalcifying. It is breaking the calcium deposit from which that is embedded itself around the pineal gland. It is breaking it up. All right? So, each one I will explain it. So, people who have normally when it's decalcified, people who have headaches, migraines, uh, people who have schizophrenia, people who have dementia, uh, any problem with the brain. You know, any brain problems, issues, they can use the eye sound in order to heal themselves. All right? So we would do it seven times. Let's begin. I. 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 I I I I I I I I last one I I relax we need to know me The next sound is the E sound that awakens the pituitary gland. There's two lobes of the pituitary gland that awaken both, activates them, thus any imbalances in the brain, headaches, migraines, whatever case may be, will take issues. It helps to alleviate that. So the sound is E. Normally, the sensation is at the forehead, above the eyebrows, which is um, situated uh, in between the eyebrows on up along that seven eyes of Allah, or the seven eyes of the seven souls of Ra, or what is known as the eyes of Hiru, or Hethiru, as it is called, the eyes of light. Now, what happens is that you have one in between your eyebrows, which is known as the false eye, and right above that, in the center of the forehead, above that, at the hairline, above that, at um, the front portion of the skull, then the mid portion of the skull, the center, then the um, back portion of the top portion of the head, then another one at right below that, at the back of the head going down to the medulla oblongata, which is right at the knot at the back of the head. Those are the seven eyes of Allah. Right? And we that correlate to the seven chakras within us, or the seven Elohim, as it is known as the thing, the one and two, and the one and one. Right, of uh, the Moorish, of the questionnaire for Moorish children of Moorish America. Now, let's get into the next sound, which is the E sound, which is the the pituitary gland. We're going to do that seven times, so let's begin. E. e-
of Allah are now activated. The last one is the white sound, which is right out there. The door on the gato, which is right under the mat at the back of the head. The hollow area in which that extends your spinal column down from the skull of the brain area. That area there is tapped three times a day. 25 times each will activate that area in which that leads towards a photographic memory, as well as also, not just a photographic memory, but also you will be able to relive and see your past lives. It gives you access to your own personal Akashic records in which that is stored within your oversoul. Your, all of your past lives are gathered up. Now, the sound for the Medulla Amagata is the Y sound. Seven times. Let's do it. Why? 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 All right. That was our last one. Let's move down now to the throat, which is your thyroid gland and parathyroid gland. It is here in which that the thyroid, parathyroid deals with your metabolism. It destroys fat, break down fat, as well as also eliminate infections. All right? Remove toxins and poisons from the body. For it is linked to your thymus gland, which sits right below it, about an inch or so below it, right above the heart. But now we will deal with the parathyroid gland, the thyroid gland, which is your throat chakra. In which that the sound is the A sound. The A sound. Seven times. Let's begin. A. 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 Hey. Hey. 
The next sound of healing is the thymus gland, the heart. The thymus gland, as I stated, is directly above the heart. The heart is off to the left. However, in the center is your thymus gland, in which that goes with your endocrine gland system of your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system, your lymph nodes. This is the sound which that helps with removing toxins and poisons from out of your lymph nodes. The fact is, is that your heart beats for circulation, in which that helps eliminate toxins and poisons, but your thymus gland no longer beats after puberty. And in fact, it begins to atrophy, to shrink. So therefore, unless you use the sounds of healing, certain herbs, foods such as yams, herbs such as mullein, fenugreek, kelp, corella, unless you use certain herbs in which that helps to reactivate or keep it activated after puberty, it will begin to atrophy, causing issues with your immune system. Your thymus gland, more than 20 to 30 percent of it is for the health and the production of your lymph fluid, your white blood cells. All of that is activated through your thymus gland. For those who don't know, your white blood cells is what destroys bacteria, viruses, etc. within the body. Whenever there's inflammation or infection or whatever the case is going on, the manufacturing of white blood cells is done so through the thymus gland. About 22, almost 30 percent. The other 70 to 80 percent is in your digestive system. But that is what your immune system actually is composed of. Your digestive system, i.e., your immune system, which is your defense system, which is your thymus gland, and your left nerve in your lymphatic system. So the sound for that is the ah uh, sound. The AH sound. AH. Seven times. Let's begin. Oh. Good 
next sound is your solar plexus, which deals with your pancreas, your spleen. The sound for that is the ha oh sound. That is the A H H sound. H A H sound. Oh. So let's begin. When you go above seven, remember you said he's going to add others. For well, some are working with nine and twelve. So we add other sounds into this. For the stomach, we could do the car sound. Go. one
the sound for the lover is seven times. Now, for those who don't know, anger is stored in the liver, and one outburst of anger shuts down your whole immune system for six hours. So, it would be well if you learn these exercises, in particular, the This is why when you get angry and you say, shit, feel so good, because you actually are saying the shit down and it's releasing the anger from the body. Remember we said earlier that for every thought, every emotion, there's a biochemical equivalent to it in which that the cells um, receive from the brain transmissions or impulses. Therefore, you have to be careful with your thoughts because it goes right into your cells. You are what you think. Now, Let's go to the digestive system, the small and large intestines, the ascending, descending colon, the sound, for it is the O sound. At the time, the O sound. Remember, as a child, whenever you was hurting, you had a tummy ache, you go to your mom and say, oh, oh. You was already saying the O sound. It comes naturally to you when your tummy hurts. So, in order to help heal the tummy, keep the digestive system uh, moving um, smoothly as far as um, the defecations, um, no diarrhea, no um, constipation, etc., you want to learn to do this, the old sound, seven times.
you've done the sound of healing, you should feel relaxed. You should feel as if a burden has been lifted from you. You should feel various sensations throughout your body, heat, pulsing, coolness, tingling, etc. What you are doing is in its balancing your endocrine gland system, which is i.e. your chocolate. Very important in order to maintain health. Your endocrine glands or your ductless glands means that deals with hormonal balance. My teacher, Prince Ramesses Abel Bay, Crown Prince of the Empire Washington D. Dr. Munya, 
given that title by the Empress Badiasi Washita Kodaka at Stone Out Bay, June 7, 1999. He told me this. these particular sounds of healing. And during that time, I've added some others in there in order to help with other organs. And when he came and seen me in 2003, he was very proud that I kept the tradition going for the subsequent that he taught me in the mid-90s. So I give this gift to you. Now, for those who want to learn more, I recommend that you join our classes, Healing Wings Institute. We have these classes every Sunday and Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The classes last three months, and we that you do get certification. You get certification in Reiki 1, 2, and 3, in three different forms of Reiki, Ushui Reiki, Tibetan Reiki, and Shekel Reiki, the ancient Egyptian form of Reiki. You also get taught Qigong, in particular, taught by also my teacher, Grandmaster Sanyata Seth Swati, 10th degree black sash, in which that he brought the system of Tantra Kriya Yoga here in the 70s and 80s and began to start teaching amongst the Americans. If you get his book, Jewel and the Lotus, phenomenal book, which that was written in 1987, you will be able to see the fantastic work that you've been doing over the last over 40 to 50 years or so. One of his teachers was Yogananda as a child who gave him the cosmic cobra breath technique. He also gave me the cobra breath technique, my wife as well as many others. I'm definitely proud and happy in which that he brings the system of Tibetan or Tibetan white crane, Qigong, as well as also Tibetan white crane, Tai Chi. We teach that system, as well as also we teach from Master Mantak Chia, who is also a teacher of mine, C. Freeman L., who is also a teacher of mine, Matter of fact, mm-hmm. uh, we were Brother C. C. Manel back in the 90s, mid-90s, on up into the early 2000s. A salam upon him. He's passed on. A salam upon Prince Ramsey, everybody, who's also passed on. Mm-hmm. So these are the various teachers, as well as also Ra'unefa Amen, Shekhar or Shekhar, also a teacher of mine, in which that taught us the breathing exercises, in which that builds into the different levels of consciousness. We teach all of these particular systems from all of these great teachers because they actually taught me personally or influenced me personally in some shape, form, or fashion. And therefore, we pass the information on to you for those who take the amen courses. That is what you would be learning, as well as also many, many more things. If you thought that this was excellent, and it's your first time experiencing this, this is nothing compared to what happens in class. We guarantee you that. I have dozens and dozens and dozens of students who would testify to the same thing. So for those in which that want to learn more, give us a call at 910-364-9099. That's 910 910- Three six four nine zero nine nine, or go to our website 
www.drsalimelbay.com, D-R-A-L-I-M-E-L-B-E-Y. All right. We want to go now to the phone lines and see what's going on with everyone. All right. Steve, what did you thought about that, Brother L? Oh, brother. That was deep, brother. Uh, Do you know what? Uh, I also noticed a whole lot of energy vibrating. Right. There was a lot of the phone kept on really going out. Right. And and I said, man, that's a lot of energy we putting out here. Oh yeah. Well, the thing is too is that how you know that your chakras are balanced is when you are able to do the sound for a long time or extended time period without cracking, without um, having to stop in between or having to cough or whatever the case is. Once you know that you're able to do each sound in that way, then that's how you know that your chakras are balanced. If okay. there's a particular sound that you come to and your voice is cracking or um, you're out of breath or, you know, you cough or whatever the case is, then you know that there's a blockage that's there. Okay. All right. So you want to definitely, um, you know, definitely master that, work on that. Um, yeah, I need to work on that. Right. Because well, I coughed a few times. So, yeah, I need to work on that. Right, right. So, so there's the vibration sounds as well, you know. I mean, the right. vibration was awesome. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, man, you know, I said, whoa, that's real powerful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And for those that want to verify this, um, you go to African Holistic Health by um, Dr. Layla Africa Imhotep, um, as he's called Dr. Imhotep, and um, you go to his book, and he has a portion of this information in there. Um, you don't have all of the samples that we went over because, like I said, I added some in which that, that's what made sense for you. as teachers are concerned, that if you have students, you know, they are doing something in which that takes it to the next level. You know, they're not just keeping it at that one level, but bringing it on. Right. All right, we're going to go to the phone lines. If there's any questions, give us a call at 626-414-3535. That's 626-414-3535. 3535. That's uh, I, I was just thinking of <clears throat> when I, this is uh, Brother Rittenell. Yeah, but when, uh, when I was coughing a couple of times, so you said that's a blockage. Right, in the particular area in which that you might be dealing with. Um, right, exactly. That was, that was the you sound. Right, right, right. Well, um, you deal with um, prostate issues or um, that particular area, whatever the case is, then yeah, that particular sound would be affected in which that, you know, would be difficult. Okay. So that'd be with uh, right, eating the right kind of herbs. Right. Some, of the herbs right. Some of the herbs in which that helps with that uh, would be um, horny goat weed, um, Damiana for the women, Don Kwai and Damiana. Um, horny goat weed can also be used by the women. Um, Maca, in ACA can also be utilized by males and females. Okay. Um, I don't suggest the brothers take too much of Don Kwai, though, but you can take Damiana, horny goat weed, and Maca. Um, Supplemental is good. Um, Picium is good. Okay. Um, Sassafras, sarsaparilla <coughs> are good. So definitely those particular herbs. All right. Um, Foti or Foti is good. Um, ginseng is excellent. You know. 
um, Ginkgo Malaba, Guadalcola, and um, helps with the improvement of the circulatory system along with cunning and pepper. Right. So, yeah, these particular herbs are excellent for um, the genital herbs. And also, the use sound taps into your thighs, your pelvis, um, the knees, your ankles, your feet, all of that is affected also with the use sound. Because it's a bass sound. It's like you said, digital, in which that has a very unique bass sound. So, you. So, that particular sound is like equivalent to like a bass, you know, um, like when you're hitting on a drum, you know, um, if it was able to vibrate, you know, with that particular boom, you know, that would be the sound that you almost get with the new sound. All right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty a very knowledgeable that you can tell. Uh, what problems you may have just by the sounds of right. uh, I mean, meditating right. and breathing, mm-hmm. the right kind of breathing and, and yeah. vibrations and all. Right. You know, well, people, that's, that's, that's amazing to me that why I don't understand why more people aren't interested in this type of information because they would need to know these types of things because what if there's no supermarket? What if there's no uh, grocery store? You know, as right. they say, if there's no hospitals, you know, what if there's the um, only thing that you had to rely on were you, yourself? Well, a lot of people, they they, they think, well, going to the doctor is better. Well, of course, you know. because they don't understand preventive, you know. Um, if people understood preventive, then they wouldn't be in a predicament in which that they're in now. There would be no um, high blood pressure running rampant amongst so-called black people. There wouldn't be... Um, HIV or AIDS running amongst black people because they're microcosmic circuits and macrocosmic circuits, which is dealing with your um, cone, uh, what they call a cone, which is actually what it's, right. I guess you say, is made up of two different meridians. The two main meridians, which is known as your conceptual vessel or channel, and your functional, which is called your functional channel. It's also called your functional channel. So your conceptual or functional channel um, and your government vessel or channel. So these two make up what's called your cone. There's only one channel. But most people break it down into two, in which that gives you what is known as the yin and yang. That's something, you, that's something you never hear a doctor talk about. <laughs> no, they're not going to teach on that because the only thing they know is how to cut. They know nothing about real healing. Or they know how to depress the symptoms. And they always talk about they can treat it but never cure it. Right. They don't know nothing about it. They know nothing about curing. So I don't even know why they are allowed to say cure because they can't cure. You know, my wife's brother um, died in 98 of liver cancer. And oh. the doctor said, but he died cancer free. What the fuck? I, somebody should have went up against his, against his head. Say cancer free, huh? Yep, cancer free, brother. Okay. Right. So come on, you know, um, that's what they know, you know. And he was smiling as if he did a good deed when he said it. Also. Hmm. So this is the nonsense that we are dealing with with the medical profession. They know nothing. Man, no doubt, brother. They don't know Man. nutrition. The only thing they know is to tell a person, well, you need to stay off the hog. You got to have stay off the hog and the salt. Like you said, all, all they know is to cut. Right, that's all they know. The cut. You got to cut it off. Cut it out. Right. And, they, and they're not that well as that. They're not that good as that. Because they put my grandmother's stomach on backwards. What? Yeah. She had... Um, and she had a cancer and a portion of her stomach um, cancer spread there so they had to cut off a portion of the stomach along with and cut out um, the cancer out of the pancreas 
but the doctor, he didn't know obviously what the hell he was doing. Was on too many calls, up too late, not getting mm. sleep, whatever. Puts the stomach on backwards. Mm. Mm. So I mean, these Man. are the, you know, these are the people in which that, you know, when you hear these stories, you know, and when it happened to you, you know, and you hear this personally, and you witness it, you know, these are things in which that should cause a person in order to want to learn and to seek higher information. Because they, exactly. don't know the fuck, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. No, they so, don't. deal with the endocrine gland system. And the way we say they deal with the endocrine glands is that they will tell you, well, the pineal gland excretes chemicals. The pituitary gland excretes chemicals. The thyroid, pituitary excretes chemicals. Hormones. Uh, spleen, the pancreas excretes hormones. The adrenal glands. And, of course, the prostate gland and the uterus. And that's all they'll tell you about the ductus gland. They'll tell you about the hormonal, uh, you know, the hormonal or the chemical responses within these particular glands, ductus glands, but they won't tell you and can't tell you the sounds in which that heals these particular glands and keep them in balance. Keep you from having disease. Prevent you from having disease. Helping you really cure an actual ailment. From these particular sounds, if you do these every day, you won't have to worry about these particular diseases. Right. Or et cetera. You have a headache, migraine, then you do the I, the Y, or the E sound based on where the headache is occurring at. And within a matter of less than um, five of the tones, it is gone. So, people have to learn these particular um, sciences because. Um, that's where we at nowadays with this. We can't be playing with it. And right now, I'm seeing a lot of people playing with it. They got people out here who's doing a lot of um, coming in just like the doctors, not knowing anything. But think that people are really doing something extraordinary. Okay, well, I can teach you about herbology. Okay, well, what if you're not in the woods? What if you can't identify the herbs? Well, I'm teaching you how to depend upon what you already have. He was born with your voice. And most of the time, they can't identify, you know. Right. Exactly. They can't. But they, they, can never, use, they never heard of before. Exactly. But they can use what I just told them. The sounds, the, um, the healing vowels, the sounds of healing. They can do that. In other words, if I get lost in the woods and can identify something, I can do the sounds in order to help heal the body until I can get something in which I do identify, in which that someone can help me identify and what it takes me to be. In other words, I'm teaching how to depend upon yourself, not on something else external of yourself, but something in which that comes from within out. Not something in which that comes from out, in which that you have to take in. There's a difference, and that's true healing. Right. Truth comes from inside out. Right. That comes from outside in. And that's there the reason why allopathic medicines is garbage because they teach you to depend on nothing but something external of yourself. And that's what they stay, that's how they stay in business. Of course, that's how they stay in business, just like the church, just like these groups, just like any and everything else. You know? They'll never teach anything worth something of real substance. In the Orient, they have similar sounds. They call them the six sounds of healing. You can go and learn that in the Taoists, the Buddhists, the Shinto, the Shintoism. You can learn these particular sounds in practicing Qigong, practicing Tai Chi, and they have similar sounds. Mm-hmm. You know, going to the box. But they do have some sounds, but just also in the to the yogi traditions, they have seven sounds in which that helps heal um, the endocrine glands or the chakras, as well as the chakra system. So every system has particular um, sounds in which they use in order to open and activate the chakra system. You That's why the, the, the medical field don't want us knowing uh, things like this. Because it'll put them out of business. 
Exactly. You know, and that's what they in is in business. They're not into holistic medicine. They're not into holistic um, frequencies. You know, they can't tell you anything holistic. You know, they can't give you a regimen. They can't teach you how to stay healthy and heal yourself. So that's what you really will want. You won't want someone to keep working on you, keep working on you, keep working on you. You give too much responsibility to someone else, and you're not taking any responsibility for yourself. Right. But this is what we do on a daily basis. You know, a brother was talking about the other night, he's like, um, sister saying that she wanted to lose weight. And he said, well, you have to cut out the snacks, the cakes, the candies, uh, the pies. Right. You know, um, you know, you have to cut out sugar, um, less meat, you know what I'm saying, no pork, no beef. You know, I mean, you, chicken or turkey has to be lean. You know, whatever the case is, he's just going through the whole list, you know, trying to give us something. Who's that mm-hmm. speaking to? And he's like, oh, if I have to do all that. Mm-hmm. So a Negro don't even want to lose weight, really, because they want a magic pill. They want some, they want someone to work on them instead of them working they, on themselves. Well, they want to quit fix. Right, they want to quit fix. They don't want no responsibility, no accountability. And that's how you know the Negroes weren't ready for God. That's how you know. And I recommend that, you know, stepping away from it. You know what I'm saying? When they in that mentality. When they're ready, they'll come to you in order to tell you um, that they're ready. Until then, it's like Captain Purse before Swan. But they don't want to cut that meat, the steaks, right. oh, cookies. Oh. That all ice cream loose. No, no, it's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. That means more than their health. So, I mean, like, wow. Mm-hmm. The ice cream, bowl ice cream, and some cookies, and uh, candy, all that means more than your health and your life. But, you know, the, I mean, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's what's going on, bro. You're yeah, seeing it every you day. The, you got the television media constantly advertising this junk food, you know, and, and making them. I mean, that's the television is the most, I would say, one of the most uh, mind control instruments they use today. And they make it look so good. Right. You know, like the cookies or candy, whatever, make it look so good. A person, especially to a person that's weak to it, right. and uh, they know this, they know the science, yeah. and they just put it out there. You know, uh, I mean, man, you know, but you hardly ever hear anything about any what we are talking about now being advertised. No. Right, right. No, well, they're not going to advertise uh, that. No, they're not. They're not. Each cell taps into a particular endocrine gland or your chakra. All right. Uh, we add the H sound in there, in which that is also used, or what is known as a phallic sound. All right. And like for example, um, when you say you won't say a hour, when you say an hour, I'll be with you in an hour. Hour is the H O U R. The H um, is silent in the sense. You know, and the O is the vowel. And remember, A N, which is N, comes before the vowels. However, the H sound is used in the hour. So H is also used, so hence, you add the H in there, and you have the seven sounds A U I O U, sometimes Y and H, in which that you heard is do the O sound. So those are the seven sounds, and of course we added in the others, shh, and po, two more, right? Um, so these are the sounds that you definitely want to focus on um, in your meditations. Um, if you did not get a chance to listen to the whole show tonight, uh, we recommend that you go and check it out. You know, rewind this. It will be archived tonight. 
Um, this is one of the um, most powerful shows which you get because it deals with you being your own healer, not depending on something else outside of you, which I know you've become accustomed to. However, you're slacking. You're not taking responsibility and not being accountable for your own deeds, ways, actions, and behavior. That is a sad thing because you can't pull yourself a God on God in that, in that particular state. If you are allowing someone to take care of you, you are not a God. You are not a God. Right. All right. And I mean taking care of you in the sense that you're not being accountable and you're not offering any service and you're not no. under any efforts or anything of importance in return. That is not a God. That is not a God. All right. So let's start mixing things up. You start getting with the real program, start getting with the real information. All right. Um, anyone on the phone lines, y'all want to call in, ask questions for those that got a chance to listen to the whole show so far, um, yo, call in. You know what I'm saying? 626-414-3535. That's 626-414-3535. Call in. You know what I'm saying? Give us your um, response um, to the signs of healing and what's that you experience. You got a chance to experience it, you know, call in. Let us know what's going on with you. 626-414-3535. Once again, 626-414-3535. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's see what's going on. Nobody on the line, huh? Nah, not right now, bro. I don't know what's going on. Maybe maybe they still knocked out in the train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. All right, we got a call on 650-650, you're on the line. Appreciate you calling in. Peace. 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 How y'all doing? This is Ebony, um, also known as Peace. Nikiti. All right. All right. Um, I'm calling in today on the topic about chakras and healing and whatnot. I know right. the the question may seem a little, well, first of all, how y'all doing? I'm sorry. Oh, we doing well. Good. I'm good. How are you? I'm well. That's good. I'm well. Um, the question is, can you open your chakras wrong? Or can yes, someone give traumatic. you wrong instruction on how to do it? Yes. Through traumatic experiences, that can definitely occur. Um, like, for example, if there's something that you're very sad about, and you're going through a traumatic or dramatic ex- um, experience or situation um, or event, circumstance, um, your chakras can actually activate because of all the emotional, pent up emotions and frustrations and disappointment and those types of things, sadness, um, can actually open up. And by using those particular emotions, um, being that they are used to open those chakras up, that is something on which that has to be corrected because you want to put in place the positive instead of the negative emotion which has been. Um, pent up and was that actually activated that particular chakra. For example, um, you might feel the chakra activated up the solar plex area, but that's because of all the sadness that you might have been experiencing from a death of a loved one or something like that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing. Say it again? I'm having a hard time hearing, and I really want to get this information, so I don't want to act like I'm listening, but I'm having a hard time hearing. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I was saying is that you might have your chakra, such as your solar plex chakra, become activated, and that might have been through a traumatic experience, such as the death or the loss of a loved one. If that happens, then, of course, you would want to um, chant something positive in place of it in which that will help with the correction and help with um, putting in, storing, positive energy and thoughts within that particular uh, chakra instead of you know, leaving it you know, with sadness, you know what I'm saying? Um, not only will it open it up, but then as soon as it opens up, it will then also close up, you know, and that's something that, that you um, don't want unless you're conscious of it. You don't want it to be filled with those particular emotions. You want to be able to release those emotions. And the sound on which that we used to that for the solar plexus was the hot sound, the shh sound, and the cough sound. 
goes to the cell negative energy. Okay, you said ka and sh. Right, ka. K A H. And ha. H A. H A, okay. Right. Okay. All right, and I'm also a chin. Of the sound, okay. okay. So, Can I combine that with Nam Yoho Rengekyo? Nam Yoho Rengekyo is the universal sound. Actually, Nam, that is the actual sound of which that produced the universal existence. It's the own sound. Um, so, okay. yeah, definitely don't combine that. Nam Yoho Rengekyo, Nam Yoho Rengekyo, Nam Yoho Rengekyo, Nam Yoho Rengekyo. So, yeah, so it's out of power. Okay. Thank no y'all so much. Well, you are. Thank you, sir. All right, peace. Peace. Hello, sir. All right. All right, we had another call on the line. Where you at? What happened to you? Come on back. You got a question? Come on back. I know she ain't asked your question. Did she? she asked your question? If not, come on back to the line. We're trying to get you on. All right, let me go to the chat room and see if there's anything happening up in here. All right. No, oh, ain't that going on in the chat room? Ain't nobody chatting. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's going on tonight, Brother L. Like I said, oh, everybody must be in the trance like state. But um, we got <laughs> area code 916. Area code 916 on the line. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I was just uh, listening to, you know, breaking it down for her, you know, you know, being shocked and whatnot. It didn't mm-hmm. answer my question, but okay. I'm a, it's, it's a personal interest for me, so uh, forgive mm-hmm. me. I'm a barber, you see, and what you're speaking on... <laughs> It, it applies to everything I'm doing, you know, being around people, being around people's heads, you know what I mean? Right. And, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, knowing what they're involved in and how to send out some good energy with them until the next time they come see me. You see what I'm saying? So right. my right. question is, what now, you know, and, and not necessarily sharing it with them while I'm cutting their hair, but what sound can I resonate in order to get a clear, you know, connection with them so I can know how to, um, you know, relate in conversing with them. You see what I'm saying? All right. Well, you heard of a green thumb, right? I can't hear you. What, what, say it again? I said you, I said you heard of a green thumb, right? Oh, oh yeah, well, definitely the gardener, right? Okay. Right, exactly. All right, well, then you are a gardener also, all right? Yeah. So basically... The color green is what you would be transmitting, in which that comes down into your heart, out through your arms, into your hands. As you're cutting the person's hair, in, in which that helps the hair um, continue being thick, continue being healthy, and, um, you know, and that type of thing. So the color green is the color in which that you definitely want to use. Now, the sound in which that helps with activating the heart, in which that is the color green, is um, the sound in which that is over is the ha sound. A H. Ah. Okay. Right. Right. So okay. once you do that sound seven times, the heart is clear, and therefore you can begin to start definitely, um, you know, cutting on the head, and then of course thinking about the color green, in which that you're going going through your hands, being transmitted from the sky above down into your head, down into your heart, out through your arms, into your hands. That's how you want to do it. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you're dealing with the solar plexus, and, you know, I heard a version as in, you know, being within, like, eight feet of someone, they have the ability right. to, you know, connect. Okay, so that's what that's what's involved there in what you're saying. Okay. Right, right. Well, within okay. three feet of the person, right, you develop three. what you call 
right? It, you develop what is called etheric co- um, cords or threads, ethereal threads. And what happens is that, especially when you're emotionally attached to the person, um, you, these threads um, are not cut because there's an emotional tie, a mental tie, and this is actually what gives you the ability in order to telecommunicate or telepathic, mm-hmm. you know, the person mm-hmm. or whatever, because these ethereal ties between you and the individual. Right. Okay, um, so, so, so mm-hmm. not to not to take your wisdom, but I got it, I got it, because you covered it. That's what it is, okay. and so which leads me to this question. Okay, and maybe it, 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 it's not off topic, but uh, okay, you talking about the etheric realm, and mm-hmm. then okay, it's surrounding your body. Okay, so uh, these electric synapses charges that's going mm-hmm. on. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and and I'm activated. I'm feeling them, and, you know, and it's like, you know, let me know who who and who's trying to get in, you know, certain types, you know, what what vicious, what what kind. You see what I'm saying? So, right. ah, how? And I'm not gonna say how because uh, you know I just want to you know clarify. Just dealing with the different types, you see, mm-hmm. in, in in how how run mm-hmm. their energy is and you know the policy at all so you know in, in, in dealing with them coming through you know I'm not racist or I'm not you know biased right. or anything mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying okay because mm-hmm. you're dealing with your own body of course so you know I'm wanting to, to well, heal it instead of battling yeah. it all the time right. because oh. and, and not to go long real quick but it, it's just that it's, man this 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 electric body is just is going it's it's not haywire, but I want to get a hold of it, you see? So, well, uh, it's real simple. Yeah. Um, in order to reflect negative energy, use the color white. You regard yourself in white light. That is your white, white. Um, oh, white, right. white light. That is your armor of God. That is what repels negative energy. Um, yeah, I dress in white a lot, too. Yeah. Right, right. Well, that uh-huh. is repels it. Um, also, the gold color. The color gold is the most healing color out of the spectrum. Um, so visualize gold around you, around mm-hmm. in, in your color. Um, it helps with um, alleviating um, negativity as well as also improving psychic development, spiritual development, as well as also um, emotional um, balance. So the color gold is necessary when working with other people. Or in the presence of other people, so that the negative energy just can't be transmitted or transferred to you. I, I, cool, cool, cool. Man, I'm out here on the West Coast, feel like I'm alone at times, you know, I just got my brothers, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm always in, online, so, you know. Right, man, right. everything, everything you be chimed in with, you know, even the music, you got everything, even with just the boom bap you just hit. Right. Loving it. Loving it, man. So, oh, I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, you too, co host, man. You know, oh, good thank energy. You. Appreciate you, you know, yeah, good energy, good energy. So, I appreciate you, Ali. All right, man. Take it easy. One. All right, we got Area Code 513. Area Code 513 on the line. 513. I came late to the show, and um, right. I was wondering if you, using these sounds to heal the mm-hmm. um, chakras, balance the chakras, do you subsequently mm-hmm. heal the corresponding glands and, and organs also? Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, that's what we were talking about. I'm going to give you a synopsis or a summary of what we just went over. This is for those mm-hmm. who are just coming into the show because I want everybody to get this. Um, you have the crown on top of the head, um, pineal gland. The sound for that is the I sound. You can do it seven times. I'm only going to do it once. I. The next sound is the pituitary gland, which is um, in between the eyebrows, up above the eyebrows. Um, matter of fact, it helps with the pineal gland all the way back to the medulla oblongata. Um, you have the seven eyes of God or the seven eyes of Allah, as they're called. Um, within the 102 and the 101 of the um, of the um, Bush um, questionnaire, um, the sound for that is the E sound. So E, um, the I in the E sound is excellent for migraines, headaches, 
as well as also schizophrenia and different other problems in which that is with the brain, um, forgetfulness. Um, we go to the medulla oblongata, which is at the back of the head, which deals with the wife down, um, and activate the past lives into the cosmic records, universal library, as well as also develop photographic memory. So the wife down. Why the next sound is the thyroid, parathyroid gland, which is the throat chakra, in which that is activated by the A sound. A. So any sound that does on can't lose weight. Um, person who um, has infections, so forth and so on, you need to work with the thyroid gland. All right, next under that is about an inch is your thymus gland, which sits right above the heart. And also so for the lungs is the ah sound, A-H. Oh. All right, that is the sound, seven times for each one. Now, of course, you have this um, solar plexus, and we said this with the spleen and the pancreas. So a person who has diabetes, um, any problem with um, with the levels of um, insulin, blood supply, dirty blood needs to be cleansed, whatever, um, is the ha sound, H A sound. Oh, we know that um, anger is stored in the liver, so the sound for the liver to alleviate anger um, is. The sound for the stomach is the ka sound, as well as also for the adrenal glands and, and kidneys is the ka sound. So ka. The next is the o sound, in which that is with the digestive system, large and small intestines, the ascending and descending colon, rectum area, in which that helps with is the o sound. The next sound, which I did with the genitalia, but from the uterus, the uh, vaginal canal, the ovaries for the women, for the man, the prostate, testes, etc. So these particular sounds is what heals the endocrine glands as well as also the connecting organs, as you were talking about. Blood is also the nerve, in which that leads from the spinal column. Um, to these particular organs. Hmm. Okay, but what about uh, how often should you do it? Like, what, once a day, doing all that once a day, or could you do it? Could you overdo it? You yeah. Know? Do it at least twice a day. Now, you should do it a okay. week and about um, three hours before sleep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm, I do a lot. Of, I, I do. A, I, I make little music sometimes, and I like to incorporate little sounds and stuff into my stuff. So that might be good to do to, you know, kind of incorporate some of them little sounds in there. Maybe it can do some healing on a subconscious level to people that listen to. Exactly. That's that's the point. That's why I'm making my album so I can do that. Exactly. I agree. Did that. All right. Well, thanks, brother. And keep up the no good worries. work. I right, appreciate you. Solid. Thank you. All right. Solid. All right. All right, we're going to area code 540. Area code 540, you're on the line. Greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings. How you doing? How y'all brothers doing? Doing great, well. brother. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, everything's good. Everything's good. Hey, Dr. Bay, um, I wanted to ask you about... Um, well, first, with the the healing sounds, do they just activate it, or do they kind of balance it out as well, or how does it kind of work? Like, if you feel like you may have an overactive, you know, like thyroid or something like that, and you wanted to kind of cool that off? Everything is brought back into balance, brother, because everything is just more for um, distribution, excessive or deficient amounts of um, hormones. Um, Okay. Bring everything back into balance, so... Um, if you have an overactive or hyperthyroid condition, then of course it will bring you back into balance. Okay. You know? All right. All of these particular things is necessary to learn. That's that's my point. Um, so that you won't have to depend upon doctors and someone else outside of you 
or for your Godhead, you know, which comes from only from the So, uh, you know, you know, the voice comes from within, so that means that the voice has one of the most powerful um, abilities to hit, hypnotize ourselves. If we actually play a recorder with our voice with these particular sounds at night, it can resonate within our subconsciousness and keep us healthy. Okay. It also um, put forth prayers, decrees, affirmations, positive mm-hmm. sounds, feeling, you know, mantras or decors or whatever the case is. Do that on a recorder and play that while sleep at night. You can stay healthy also. So it's about um, embedding this into your subconscious mind so that can trickle down into your super consciousness, um, magnetic consciousness, and infinite conscious levels. Okay. Cool. Um, and to kind of transition into that, this is kind of close. Maybe it be, might be a little bit off, but um, as far as like astral traveling and lucid dreaming and that kind of deal, um, mm-hmm. is there any kind of sound that can help you out, like with trying to do that? You know, I mean, uh, right. Well, if you're dealing with astral travel, then of course you're dealing with the solar plexus. So the sound for the solar plexus is the ha uh, um, sound. So, mm-hmm. oh, oh, a hot sound. So, you don't want to do that. Now, if you're going to do soul travel, then you have to do the I, the E, and the Y sound, which symbolizes right there at the top of the head or right there at the, the top portion of the head area. Um, so, okay. you want to do three sounds. I, E, Y, you know, um, those sounds open at those particular um, seven eyes of Allah, which will give you the ability to know soul travel. And how you know your soul travel, which is something different than from astral travel, because you hear like a popping noise, like a snap, um, or like a gunshot, um, being mm-hmm. released, the soul being released from out of the body. So, um, those are the differences. Okay? So, if you're talking about astral travel, the hot sound, if you're talking about soul travel, in particular, the eye sound, okay? Okay, so it's best to kind of do maybe like some meditation with that or something right before you go to bed. It might help you exactly. out with that. Or... Exactly. <laughs> So they can right. wife taps you into your Akashic records, your past lives. So you definitely want to know some of that information. Yeah, definitely. All right, brother, we well, appreciate the information. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, you always bring the information, and we appreciate it. Well, appreciate All right, brother. You. Appreciate All right, you. All right, y'all have a safe one. Oh, All you right. too, brother. Peace. Peace. All right, we got area code 818. Area code 818. Let's see if we can get you on the line here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes ma'am. Loud and clear. Oh, okay. I have a quick question. I'm glad I got here. I missed some oh. of your show, but my question is, is there a particular sound that helps with blood pressure? Yes, that's the hot sound. The sound of Jack just told me. Um, solar plexus and also the heart. Um, those two sounds. So the heart sound is uh, H. The solar plexus is H-A. So, oh. Uh, Okay. Help, help with, um, and also the thyroid gland um, helps with the kidneys, and the kidneys, excuse me, those two um, sounds help with um, high blood pressure. But normally, high blood pressure is a heart um, issue. Right. So, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, also, if you want to do the thyroid gland, it's the A sound. A. It, okay, how um, often do I do those? You would do these sounds of healing at least twice a day, like I told the brother. You can do more, but at least twice a day. Morning how many after. times? Seven times. Sorry, sound seven times? Twice. Right, each sound is seven times. Okay, I have one other question. Was the alternating breathing technique, mm-hmm. is the yes. tongue to the top of the mouth? Is it what? Is the tongue to the top of the mouth? Yes, is it alternating? The Right, so it comes at the roof of the mouth, um, behind the front teeth, on that little okay. point right behind the two front teeth and the upper palate, and that closes okay. off the circuit in which that unifies the cone channel, which is um, basically what is known as the perceptual vessel and the governing vessel. 
Okay, is that it? Is it, is it just the is breathing and any lock, locks involved? Or? Um, you can also do that um, anal and vaginal lock. Okay. In other words, you can pull out the anal and vaginal muscles in order to keep the energy inside of your body and make sure that there's no leaks going out um, of your body into your auric field, creating holes and leaks. So you want to be able to hold that energy in as it's being um, utilized and channeled because what you're doing is activating your feet and your pingala, in which that awakens your shishuna, which is the hollow area in your back, and you can be the basin or the way to come to me. Okay. Is that safe to use um, with a person that has high blood pressure? Um, for a person who has high blood pressure, I would tone and do the particular tonings first and do the okay. cleansing exercises. Um, the cleansing exercises would be something similar to visualizing a sun, a golden sun in front of you. All right? With your eyes closed, you visualize a golden sun in front of you, and you would feel the rays of the warmth of the sun upon you. You would take those rays of the sun, into your nostrils and down the back of your spine all the way down to the tip of your cocky. And you, as you inhale, then as you exhale, you open your mouth and... And as you... You will visualize a black smoke coming out of your mouth. All right? And this black smoke symbolizes toxins and poisons being removed from your body. So hence, what is high blood pressure? It's that waste in the bloodstream. So what you're doing okay. is eliminating the waste in your bloodstream. You're etherizing it and releasing it through that meditation technique. Oh, okay. Okay. I want yeah. to ask you that for a long time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. And you, both have, and you both have a nice evening. You too now. Peace. Peace. All right. Peace. All right. Once again, y'all those who want to give us a call, we're dropping some major jewels for y'all tonight. Y'all better pay attention. Once again, area code 626-414-3535. That's 626-414-3535. Give us a call. All right. Before we go, we got eight more minutes. All right. We got area code. 302, every code 302, you're on the line. All right, we're trying to get 302 on the line. Hold on, let's get him. All right, here we go. Peace. Peace. Huh? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes sir. Loud and clear. Peace, peace, peace. It's Messiah. Peace, God. Um, How you doing, God? Peace. I'm, I'm great. Uh, I was. I wanted to ask, what would be a great breathing technique to utilize? Let's say you're about to do a major demonstration, and you want to, you know, be relaxed when you do it and let everything the, flow. The O sound. The O sound. Huh? The O sound and the I sound. Those two sounds would be the sounds. Normally, um, within our abdominal brain, we um, we feel anxiety, butterflies in the stomach, or whatever the case is. The O sound helps with that. So, O. And also the I sound, in which that helps with the um, crown chakra. Um, I. So, those two particular sounds help alleviate anxiety, stress. So, stress is still in the brain. Anxiety without uh, within the um, abdominal brain section, which is your um, smaller large intestine. So those two sounds have to be the All right, so it's either or. It's not um, in conjunction with each other. It's just it's either or. Yeah. No, you do both. Right, I'm feeling the IE. I'm feeling that one. Right, do both. Do both. All right, that's it? peace. Yep. That is peace. How you doing tonight, Grand Sheik? Oh, I'm great. 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 Yeah, <laughs> great. Want to keep things moving. All right. Got people coming in consistently. All right. Good, good. Good. Wonderful. Keeping it moving, keeping it moving constantly. Wonderful. Um, active, because, you know, that's what we're supposed to be. supposed to be active more, not passive. Right. Exactly. We're not going to lift it. We're not going to uplift as a nation being passive. So, right. Doing what 
I'm, I'm doing what I'm called to do. Right. By being active. All right. What I'm charged with as a grand sheik, being active. And I'm going to continue to be active and fill in right. the blanks for those who aren't active. Right. So, uh, right. appreciate that, brother. Appreciate you. And that's brother, grand sheik, you know, um, Messiah Aziz L. Um, of the Lord's Holy Temple of Science, Temple 2F. Well, I'm from out of Delaware, you know what I'm saying? So, no doubt about it. Absolutely. Yes, sir, brother. Peace and love. Peace yeah, and peace love. and love, God. All right. You got in the chat room here, Millennial. Um, ask, does the pitch of the sound make a difference? Um, i.e. a person with a squeaky voice or a person with a deep voice. Um, it's real simple. The higher sound or in a higher pitch, and as you come down um, the chakras to the genitalia, it becomes more bass. So, I sound, I, and then as you come down towards the genitals, it's you. So, yes. As you start out, it's high pitch, and then as you come down, it gets deep um, because you're going more dense. You're going more into the physical body, all right? So um, that's that's what you would want to um, do um, if you're toning. So you just want to keep that in mind as you're going over it, okay? And hopefully I answer your question for you, Melania. All right, don't got too much time left. So let me see here if there's anybody else. All right. Um, we're getting ready to head out. First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. Begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of the ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works.